Have you ever wondered why some people seem to know everyone and others struggle to make connections? Well, today we'll be diving into the fascinating world of networking. This intricate web of relationships can hugely influence our professional and personal paths. And guess what? The way the wealthy and the not-so-wealthy network can be quite dissimilar. Intriguing, right? So, buckle up as we explore the 10 major differences between rich and poor networking styles. And remember, we're doing this in reverse order for some extra fun. Starting off at number 10, we have the power of listening. In the world of networking, it's the wealthy who lend their ears generously. They understand that listening is a fundamental key to gaining knowledge and fostering genuine connections. On the flip side, those struggling often fall into the trap of monopolizing conversations, missing out on valuable insights. So, next time you're in a conversation, try to talk less and listen more. Remember, we have two ears and one mouth. Use them proportionally. Moving on to number nine, let's talk about value exchange. You see, successful networkers have a secret weapon and that's understanding the crucial role of value exchange in their interactions. Unlike their counterparts who may be more self-centered, these savvy individuals know the golden rule of networking. Give before you take. They approach each interaction asking not what they can gain, but what they can offer. So, my networking ninjas, when you step into the networking arena, always ask yourself, what value can I bring to this relationship? Next up, at number 8, we have quality over quantity. The wealthy networkers understand the importance of deep, meaningful relationships. They're not just collecting contacts, they're building relationships. On the flip side, those less successful might be more focused on the sheer number of connections they can amass. But here's the catch. A thousand shallow relationships won't match the power of a handful of deep, impactful connections. Remember, it's not about how many business cards you collect, but the relationships you build. Oh, at number seven, let's discuss the importance of long-term thinking. The rich networker knows that relationships are a marathon, not a sprint. They invest time and energy into nurturing connections, thinking years ahead. On the other hand, the poor networker might chase after immediate rewards, neglecting the potential of long-term partnerships. But remember, the best collaborations are often those that have been carefully cultivated over time. In networking, play the long game. It's not about immediate gains, but future collaborations. Halfway through, at number six, we have authenticity. Now, the rich networkers, they understand the importance of being genuine. They know that a veneer of insincerity can tarnish their professional reputation. Contrastingly, poor networkers may sometimes come across as insincere, putting on an act to impress. However, this often backfires. Because let's face it, folks, most people can sense when someone is not being authentic. They can smell a fake from a mile away. Authenticity is key. People can smell a fake from a mile away. At number five, we're talking about being proactive. You see, rich networkers don't sit around waiting for the phone to ring. They take the initiative, they reach out, they create opportunities. It's like they're playing a game of connect the dots, but they're the ones drawing the dots. On the other hand, poor networkers might just wait for someone else to draw the dots for them. But here's the thing. If you're not proactive, you're reactive. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Go out and create them. Number four, let's talk about follow-ups. Now, those who are truly successful in networking understand that it's not just about making a connection, but maintaining it. They excel in following up after meetings, a crucial step often overlooked by many. They send a thoughtful email or even a simple text just to keep the conversation going. For those who aren't so diligent, they may forget this step, leaving their hard-earned connections to wither and fade. Remember, in networking, the fortune is in the follow-up. Coming in at number three, we have building trust. It's no secret successful networkers place trust at the very core of their relationships. They know trust isn't won overnight. It's a marathon, not a sprint. They invest time, show genuine interest, and consistently prove their reliability. On the flip side, less successful networkers might breeze past this crucial step, missing the lasting connections that trust can build. Remember folks, trust is the foundation of any strong relationship. Build it, maintain it, respect it. Almost there at number two, we have positive attitude. It's fascinating how the wealthy networkers always seem to carry an aura of optimism. They believe in the power of possibilities, focusing on solutions rather than problems. On the flip side, less successful networkers often fall into the trap of negativity, letting pessimism cloud their interactions. But here's the catch. Positivity is contagious. It's like a magnet, 
drawing people and opportunities towards you. Remember, positivity attracts. Be the energy you want to attract. And finally, at number one, we have continuous learning. Rich networkers understand that the world is ever-changing and growing. They are always eager to learn, adapt, and evolve, soaking up new ideas and perspectives like a sponge. On the other hand, poor networkers may resist change, clinging to outdated concepts or methods. But remember this, folks, learning is the key to growth. It's the gateway to opportunities, the pathway to success. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Well, there you have it, folks the 10 major differences between rich and poor networking styles. From the power of listening to the importance of continuous learning, these are the hallmarks of successful networking. It's not just about quantity, but quality. It's about being authentic, proactive, and fostering trust. Reflect on your own networking style. Are you a master of follow-ups? Do you think long-term? Remember, positive change starts with self-awareness. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful videos. Until next time, happy networking.